I think it goes without saying uh, you're never really prepared, you know, for a moment like this. Uh, that's certainly not what we're expecting. Uh, our hats go off to uh, Dallas. Neither team deserved this championship uh, more than the other, uh, but Dallas uh, earned it. Uh, and uh, they should be congratulated uh, when it was time for them to make tough plays and make big uh, baskets uh, in crunch time when they needed it. They did. Uh, we had opportunities. Uh, there's certainly an emptiness uh, right now uh, with our group. Uh, we've been through uh, a heck of a lot uh, this season where in many ways it felt like two seasons built in one. Uh, there's no excuses. There's no blame. Uh, sometimes uh, you simply come up short. Tonight, uh, they went to the zone, obviously, in the, uh, late in the first quarter, and that took us out of our rhythm. We were in a very good flow, uh, and that's what they do. They don't stay in the zone uh, very long, uh, but it's enough to get you a little bit out of your rhythm, uh, out of your comfort zone, and by the time they come back in demand, uh, you've lost some possessions. Uh, and so where he was able to be aggressive, the zone took him out of that. Uh, but he was still uh, trying to make an impact, and, and ultimately you do have to give uh, Dallas uh, some credit. The narrative of this series was all about LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, even Chris Bosh, three potential Hall of Fame players. The fact that you fell short, what does it say about what the Dallas Mavericks are made of? Most NBA champions are known for having some signature player, some kind of greatness to them. What will that Dallas team be known as? Oh, they'll be known as NBA champions. You'll never be able to take that away from them. Uh, who cares about any other storyline? Uh, they have a bunch of Hall of Famers, you know, on that team, a, a lot of winners, uh, a tremendous amount of experience. Uh, those guys have been through uh, some pain, some heart heartache, uh, and that hardens you. It toughens you uh, to when you get to the moment of truth uh, that they were able to uh, respond. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki uh, is simply one of the all-time greats. Uh, and he was, when we played him in 2006, his game has continued to elevate in his 30s. Uh, that's a remarkable thing, and I think that's a, a, a great lesson for NBA players. You can still improve uh, as you get older uh, and add more skills and dimensions to your game. Uh, he is probably one of the most indefensible players uh, you know, in this league uh, because of his skill set, his shooting and his size. Uh, and now he's seen every single coverage you could possibly uh, see.